boys and girls, this is Miss Tiffany. I'm so glad you can join us this week for our curbside craft polar bear party. I'm going to show you what's in your curbside craft bag first, and then I'm going to read you two stories all about polar bears. In your bag, you're going to have a bear ceramic piggy bank and some paints to paint him. We have white, yellow, blue, and purple this week, and a paintbrush right here. Then you're going to get a foam picture frame with some snowflakes and two polar bears that you can make a frame out of and you can put a nice picture of yourself or your family in there and then you're going to get a goofy snowflake ornament that you can hang in your fridge or maybe from a tree or from your door and there's all a bunch of silly faces you'll have to see which silly face you get in your bag now i'm going to read you two stories the first one is called polar bear night and it's a Nice story, it's a fiction story all about a sleepy polar bear. And then after that, I'm gonna read you a nonfiction book that's called Polar Bears Are Awesome and give you some really cool facts all about polar bears. I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for the story. Polar Bear Night by Lauren Thompson. Pictures by Stephen Savage. The night is keen and cold. Snug inside her warm den, a polar bear cub wakes. Something in the moonlit stillness quietly beckons. What is it? The little cub leaves her warm, soft mother so deep asleep. She sets out for the snow and sky and sea and ice, and the moon follows. Quietly, the little cub creeps across the snow, watching, listening. All the others are asleep. She sees the walrus. He is sleeping. She sees the seals. They are all sleeping. She sees the whales. They are swimming as they sleep. Farther and farther the polar bear cub walks, watching, listening. Where is she going? What will she find? The little bear climbs high upon a mountain of snow. There she waits, wondering, and the moon waits with her. Then the stars begin to stir. Over here, stars are softly falling. Over there, too. It's a star shower. The stars are like snowflakes, falling, falling. They light up the snow and the ice. They light up the lapping waves of the sea. They light up the walrus and the seals and the whales. They light up the bear cub's warm, snug den and her soft, sleeping mother. They light up everything the little bear loves, and the little bear shines bright with light, too. One by one, the stars stop falling, Soon they are still again, shining upon the little bear, shining as they sleep. Now the polar bear cub is ready for sleep, too. She makes her way back through the keen, clear night, and the moon follows. Snow and sky and sea and ice and mother bear soft, warm fur. Home. Polar Bears Are Awesome by Jacqueline Jaycox Polar bears are the largest type of bear. Males are about 8 feet long. They can weigh more than 1,300 pounds. Females are 2 to 3 times smaller than males. Polar bears blend in with the white snow, but their fur is actually clear. Each hair is hollow and reflects sunlight. This makes the bears look white like snow. Polar bears have black skin under their fur. It soaks up sunlight and keeps them warm. Polar bears live in one of the coldest places on Earth. Dry fur helps keep them warm. Polar bears are excellent swimmers. They use their big paws to paddle. They have a thick layer of blubber. It keeps them warm in the icy water. Polar bears have fur on the bottom of their feet. They also have large claws. Claws grip the ice and help polar bears walk on the slippery surface. Polar bears live on sea ice in the Arctic. They stay near open water to hunt. In summer, some ice melts. Polar bears travel hundreds of miles to find other sea ice. Some bears move to land. Polar bears can go without food for a few months until the water freezes again. Polar bears live on their own. They come together only to mate. Polar bears growl or hiss if they are threatened. They also like to play fight if they come across other bears. They stand on their back legs and try to knock each other over. 
Females build dens in the snow. Mother bears raise cubs in the dens. Most females have two cubs at a time. Cubs are very small when born. They weigh about one pound. Cubs don't have a lot of fur. Their mothers keep them warm while they grow. Cubs drink milk from their mothers. Adult polar bears have no predators, but they face other dangers. The changing climate is affecting them. Ice melts as temperatures rise. Polar bears need ice to hunt. With less ice, they may have a harder time finding food. Without food, they can't survive. Oil spills are another threat to polar bears. Oil leaks out of boats traveling through Arctic waters. Oil sticks to polar bears' fur. Their fur can no longer help to keep them warm. If a polar bear gets oil on its fur, it will not survive in the cold Arctic. There are about 26,000 polar bears on Earth. They are the biggest bears in the world. They are also one of the toughest. Not many animals can survive in the Arctic, but it's the perfect home for a polar bear. Oh, hi, everybody. This is a really awesome book. I hope you enjoyed listening to it and learning all about polar bears today. Don't forget, every week on Wednesdays, we have a new theme for you and lots of great stories read by our librarians. So we hope that you're enjoying them. Bye, have a good day.